Hi, this is Robin Bremer, the author of the Kingdom Living series, the Kingdom Living Bible Study Courses, or course, and the Pocket Study Guides. And today I want to share with you that your dead in Christ has set you free from the law. And this is part two. I'm going to be doing a whole series on the law and how you're not under the law no more. So this is part two. So your death in Christ has set you free from the law. And let's take a look at that. Romans 7, 1 says, Or do you not know, brethren, for I speak to those who know the law, that the law has dominion over a man as long as he lives. For a woman, for the woman who has a husband is bound by the law to her husband as long as he lives. But if the husband dies, she is released from the law of her husband. So then, if while her husband lives and she marries another, she's called an adulterer. But if her husband dies, she's free from the law. Okay? So, what he's doing is he's showing these people that when there's a death of, the, of somebody in this covenant, of a husband and a wife in the marriage, then that makes the woman free from the law. So, let's take a look at what else he says that is related to that. And this is Romans 7, 6. But now we have been delivered from the law, having died to what we were held by. Very important. Now we have been delivered, have been delivered from the law. Big, big, big point there. But now we haven't been delivered from the law. Why? Having died to what we were held by. We were held by the law and we died to it so that we should serve in the newness of the spirit and not the oldness of the letter. Okay, the letter kills, the spirit gives life. The Old Testament was all about the letter, the law. The New Testament is all about being led by the Holy Spirit. And so right here you can see that God wants us to be led by the spirit, not by the law. We died to the law. I don't know why it does that. We died to the law and having died to what we were held by, so that we could serve in the newness of the Spirit. Okay, And Colossians 2.20 says, Therefore, if you died with Christ, so you died with Christ. Okay, Colossians 3.3 3 says, For you died, and your life is hid with Christ. Again, we died with Christ. Galatians 2.19, For the, but I, through the law, died to the law that I might live to God, that I, through the law, died to the law. Bold underline. Okay. For I, through the law, died to the law, that I might live to God. So you see, the law does not bring life. The law kills. But the Spirit brings life. And when the Holy Spirit came to live in us, when we asked Jesus to be the Lord, our Lord and our Savior, then we die to the law. We're born again. So, I hope this sets you free. I hope this is a blessing to you. And uh, we got part three going on tomorrow. And I'll talk to you later.